Hey YouTube, I'm Marty. I'm here to do a review on the Harbor Freight Tools Control Arm Bushing Press. I'm doing a control arm replacement on my BMW today and I thought that it might be nice to use this press since a lot of people say it's a pretty difficult project to do. Others say it's easy, but I tend to agree with the ones that say it's difficult. It's not an easy thing to do. So what this press is going to do is help us install the control arm bushing onto the back end of the lower control arm on a BMW. So here's the old control arm right here. This is the one we're replacing. So we're not actually having to take the bushing off of this one since we have a new bushing and a new bushing holder. So what's cool about this tool is it's $49.99 and I had a 20% off coupon so it was only $39.99. I thought it's a pretty good deal. Check out this four ton Pittsburgh bottle jack and that's the, the heart of the press and then there's a three quarter inch stainless steel rod for the other end. It's adjustable from about 12 inches of material to about 18 inches of material. So we're just going to get right to it. What I decided to do was put a uh, 1 and 1 16th socket over the bottle jack as a press base. We're going to use soapy water. Never use oil, grease, silicone, or anything slippery. It's supposed to dry once it's uh, put in place. Use the old control arm to figure out the correct angle of the uh, back bushing support bracket. You can see that it isn't exactly parallel with the control arm. It's uh, slightly higher than that. And uh, don't forget about the alignment pins that are on the vehicle that need to mate with the recess in this holder. All right, well, here we go. I also, I also made a couple spacers out of some three quarter inch PVC pipe that'll go in here and help hold the control arm in the middle since they didn't really have an accommodation for that. So let's give it a try. Just gonna soap up the control arm bushing. Soap up the pin on the end of the control arm. Now here's the tricky part, assembling all this stuff. So I'll give this a try. We're gonna go right about here, go into the second. Oh, we need the bushing. Can't forget the bushing. Let's go like that, put one of the bushings on, go through the control arm. And here's the tricky part right here. Let's see what we can do. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. That part's pretty hard. All right. Now we have to put the bushing in in the right direction and the right angle. So the correct direction is to have the alignment pins facing up, and this direction is up to my right. So that's the correct direction. We're going to line that up. Got to get the angle of the bracket. A little bit off from the control arm. My old one came out at a slight angle, so let's try that. Put my shoulder into this thing to give me a little support and pump it up just a little bit just to get things sort of started. See what happens here. Okay, we're getting there. Come in nice and close. Take a look right here. There we go. Okay, so I pressed it all the way on to the end of the pin. Now I have to do a little change over here on the uh, socket I have on the base. I'm going to flip a socket upside down and finish the press. And this could be a little tricky with all the soap and everything in there, but we'll give it a try. And you have to be sure to align the socket with the center of the bushing. Okay, we're going to finish pressing it. Looks like it's moving along pretty nicely. And we're going to line it up about where the other one was, which wasn't really all the way 100% on. Pretty close, but not all the way. I'm going to put it where the other one was, and that looks like about it. 
So I give this control arm press from Harbor Freight Tools four stars. I give it only four stars because a little bit awkward up here on top and a little bit too slippery here on the bottom. So there you go. Go out to Harbor Freight Tools and get your control arm bushing press.